story tonight. A Walla Walla jailer could be facing jail time of his own. Yeah, Keeper Action News has uncovered not one, but two state agencies are looking into whether a corrections officer stole money. And Keeper Action News reporter Chelsea Compton has tonight's big story. Keeper confirmed an investigation is well underway at the Walla Walla County Jail. It's being looked at by at least two agencies. The state auditor is looking into misappropriations of funds, while the state patrol is checking for financial improprieties. Both are following the money trail to see if a correctional officer stole from the jail, and that person has been suspended until the investigation is complete. Because of the seriousness of these accusations and that there are inmates and jailers involved, no one's doing a lot of talking. I did confirm that there is an investigation, but a very reliable source is giving me extra details. This source believes a jailer is stealing money inmates use to make phone calls. See, how it works is that inmates have personal bank accounts, which they can use to pull money from to make phone calls to their family, etc. Well, this source believes a jailer is stealing money from those accounts. Neither agency would say how much money is at stake or who was suspended. But I do know someone tipped off the auditor's office almost a year ago. No one's saying who the whistleblower is, but I do know that for state patrol to step in, someone at the top has to ask. In this case, it was the sheriff. From that moment, the auditor and state patrol have been working on parallel paths to find out just what went down inside county lockup. WSP will decide if a crime was committed. The auditor investigates business practices and procedures. And like I said, both will follow the money trail. And when they reach that end, it could be big problems, not only for the inmates, but for the whole system. Chelsea Kopta, Action News. And to make sure that this story was balanced, we asked for interviews from the Walla Walla County Sheriff, the prosecutor, and captain of the jail, but uh, no one would comment. The state auditor's office says it will write a report by the end of the year once State Patrol also finishes its investigation. So far, no one has been charged. And Keeper Action News, as you know, is committed to balanced coverage. To include all sides of every story, and if you think we missed a side, contact us through phone, email, Facebook, or Twitter. We're dedicated to telling a fair story. Here are takeaways. Avoid wallpaper video. Replace it, as Chelsea did, with on-camera storytelling and graphics. Plunge viewers right into the story as you saw here. That's instead of the old way, the reporter sitting on set at the start. Many viewers see the reporter on set as filler. They want him to get right to the story.